Hello, it's Bernadette Doyle here and today I've got something slightly unusual for you. I'm going to be talking to you about how to make space to attract new clients. Now, some of what I say might sound a little bit woo-woo. I don't apologise for that personally. I love me a bit of woo. And I always share on all of my videos and all of my posts and articles the things that I know after 20 years of being in business really work. And this one works. This one worked for me actually for the first time when I was just 18 years old and I didn't really know what I was doing, but it did work. So I'll explain more as we get into it. So what do I mean by making space to attract clients? Well, sometimes you're saying that you want more of anything in your life, but we're talking specifically about clients right now. You want more clients, but you actually haven't created the space to receive those clients. So one of the first times I started to think about this was when I was reading about an incident with an accountant and the accountant wanted more clients, but in her current practice, she was already overloaded and her office was filled with paperwork all over the floor. And basically it was like a signal to herself, the universe that she really wanted wasn't able to manage the clients she already had. So, you know, why on earth would she have room for more? So the coach that was working with her encouraged her to do a a, a big clean up and get organized. And lo and behold, as soon as she got that done, she started attracting clients again. And so that really got me curious and thinking, what is it, you know, are there times that we're saying we want something, but we're not actually setting ourselves up to receive that thing. And so I started playing with this and doing different things with my clients that have really made a difference. One thing I started doing was whenever I was running an event and let's say we had a certain number of seats to fill out the event, whether that was 15 seats, 100 or more, one of the things we always did was create a sheet of paper or a whiteboard or somewhere in the office, we would start to write up the numbers that we wanted. So one, let's say it was 15 people, it would go one to 15. There would be a number. And then as those places started to book up, then we would write the person's name down. Now I understand a bit more about neuroscience and I understand a bit more about how the brain works. I now understand that that's a powerful way that you're actually signaling like your your readiness to receive those clients. It's like you're stating to yourself and the universe, there is the spot. And almost like by having spot 15, it's like you're coming from a place of knowing that that spot is gonna be filled and that the spot is there that that you're literally holding space, I guess, for the people that you wanna draw in. Now, contrast is sometimes I've seen people who've struggled to fill up their programs and they're not showing up with that same energy of certainty and or commitment. For example, in the days of live events, I know we do everything virtually these days, but in live events, it would be not confirming the room and waiting until you had some bookings before you actually confirm the room. Whereas if you're really moving forward with a clear intention and certainty that clients are coming, of course you would confirm the space. Of course you would pay the deposit and book the room. So that was one of the things that we started doing. Another thing that I've had people do is actually literally create folders. So either digitally, let's say on Dropbox, create a folder for client number one, client number two, client number three, whatever number of clients is that you're saying you want, making sure you're doing things in your environment that are in alignment with what you're saying you wanted. Now, I did warn you at the beginning that this might sound a bit woo-woo, but again, just trust me, try this out. It is incredible how this works. And I think it's because it's making sure that you are really are acting consistently with what you say you want. One of the big ways that people sabotage goals is that we say we want something, but we're acting as though we're expecting a different result. When we start to bring our actions in a alignment with the results that we desire, that's when things start to move really fast, get really powerful. Now, I did say at the beginning, I'd share with you a story that happened when I was just 18. This goes way back to my first ever proper sales role. I was working in a car dealership. Don't know how I landed up there. I had so many limiting beliefs about sales and selling and my ability to sell, but there I was. And I was in a team where we were working towards a sales contest. And this, the contest prize was an all expenses trip for two to the Caribbean. So this was a very attractive prize we had to sell a certain number of cars. And I had this little dot matrix printer and I printed out this image of a yacht. And then I filled out number one, two with blank spaces to fill in the names of people who bought the cars. We put this up on the wall and we used to fill it out for every time we'd sell a car. And it was really interesting because some of the people who come into the office would actually notice it and say, what is that? And then we explained that we're in a contest and that actually helped bring even more referrals down to us. But I just wanted to share that with you because I didn't know anything about visualization, law of attraction, 
education, anything like that back then. I was just intuitively doing what felt right and felt good in relation to this sales goal. But it's really fascinating to me how all these years on in my now sophisticated online business where we've kind of upgraded a little bit from dot matrix printers that I'm still using similar tools and rituals and it's producing results. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on what I've just shared. Is this something you've done and got results with? Have you done this to attract clients, to make space for clients in this way? Is this something you're now inspired to try? Put it into action, make sure to come back and tell us how you get on with it or any other comments you have about making space for clients. I'd love to hear them. So do leave a comment below and I'll see you very soon. Take care.